In response to lockdowns around the world, Deezer launched its Stay at Home channel, which includes a number of mood and activity-led playlists. Despite us all living through such an uncertain time, playlists such as Mellow Days and Feel Good have performed very well. However, uplift and activity-led playlists has been the most notable trend with sports motivation being the top stream playlist in the channel worldwide and streams of yoga and meditation increased significantly back in March. But as well as music style, Deezer has also seen a change in listening patterns. We miss our prime time, which was normally from 7 to 9 and uh, 4 to 6. The prime time now is more around breakfast, we can see. So indicates as well people have a bit later breakfast sometimes, like 9 to 9.30. So that's the first trend. And you saw a small decline of a number of streams at the beginning because people probably did more uh, video things. They, 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 they went to other kind of services at the beginning. But um, this has started to stabilize as well. What remains is that, that people more listen to music average over the day and you don't have those kind of peak hours anymore. What about the devices? Have they changed? Yeah, you saw a bit of a revival of the uh, good old PC, uh, the, the desktop. So people use the desktop a bit more. That was one interesting device change. And the other device change is we saw a big increase when it came to PlayStations and, and Xbox and, and those kind of uh, consoles. Uh, but I guess when people play or do something else in in, uh, in the free time, they're listening to music via those kind of uh, devices as well. Do you think because people are wanting to listen to more uplifting music during the crisis that artists could actually shape their music towards that? Yeah, I think so. I think, um, I mean, the beauty with music is you, you can find the right tone for every kind of uh, situation you're in. And artists doing the same, I mean, we have been working a lot with artists in this crisis. For example, we gave opportunities to many of the artists to create their own playlists for their fans and promote them and, and, and be closer to their fans. So there is, a, there is a, for sure a change or a kind of adaptation to the new situation between the fans and the artists. And we're facilitating this kind of new way of, of, of uh, being closer. What do you think the long-term effect will be on the music industry? I think there's going to be another thinking about how do we value music and, and how do we give the value back to the artists who create this kind of, uh, of music. And uh, you can see that uh, subscription models that we are operating are very stable and, and, and to give a kind of good basis for, uh, for, for everyone involved which is not the case if you're depending on advertising. The second point is clearly that there's going to be a need for having live events more on digital solutions as well. So we have the capability in Deezer, for example, to do audio streaming concerts live already. Maybe there's going to be a combination with, uh, with, uh, with video feeds uh, as well.